Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to merge PDF documents using Preview. Now, Preview does a lot more than its name suggests. You can actually merge PDF documents and rearrange the pages inside them and then save them out as completely new documents. A lot of people use Preview for this functionality. However, there were some significant changes in how that worked using Snow Leopard as opposed to Leopard before it. Let's take a look at how to do this in Snow Leopard. So here we have a document open in Preview. It's a single page and we're going to see that it's a single page by going to View, Sidebar, Show Sidebar. And then we get the page here on the right. If we go to that view sidebar menu, we can see that we can display it many ways. I've got it displayed by thumbnails. Now, so far this looks the same as it did in previous versions of Preview in Leopard. But if we take a second document and we drag it to the sidebar, drop it in there, we now have what looks like two pages of the same document. However, that's not how Preview works in Snow Leopard. Instead, we have two separate documents. And the way you know this is if you click on the first one, you can see in the title bar here, it says first document.pdf, one page. There are currently two documents open, two total pages. We click on the second document, it shows that we're in the second document.pdf, which is one page, and there are two documents with two total pages. So these are actually two separate documents that you can switch between by looking in the sidebar. So say we wanted to merge these two documents. The way we would do it is simply to drag the second document here over the first one until we have a plus symbol with the cursor. When we drop it there, it will merge the documents together. Now we can see that it says first document.pdf, page two of two, two documents, three total pages. So what happened? Well, we didn't change the second document. It is still there. It is still second document with one page. However, we did change the first document. We added a copy of the page from the second document to it. So now it is one page one of two. There's two pages in this. And we can see that here. We've got a spiral binding to the left of the icon. And when we roll over it, we have an arrow here. If I click on it, it will open up. You can see it slides to the left and it looks like there's a folded over page there. We've opened up that first document. You can see there's page one and page two of the first document. And we look in the title bar to see that both those pages are first document, that's page one, that's page two. We scroll down and we see we still have the second document as a separate document with one page. Now if we would go back to this first document, we can close it up so it's just a single icon here in the sidebar and we can save it and it will actually include those two pages. And the second document here is actually untouched. So the confusion comes in in that on the sidebar, you can see not only the different pages of single documents, but you can see multiple documents in there. The key is to look for that spiral binding to the left. That shows that is a document that you're looking at and you can expand it to see the pages under it. The other key, of course, is to use the title bar to really figure out exactly what you're looking at, which document and which page of that document and how many pages are in the document. It's all there in the title bar. Now you can still rearrange pages in a PDF document as well. Here you can see I've got document open. It says it has four pages. I look at the icon here and it has the spiral binding to the left. I click on the arrow to expand it. I see page one, two, three, and four. I can exchange page three and two by dragging and dropping. And I can also even exchange with page one as this first icon, even though the, there's a spiral binding, will act as its own, its own page by itself. So now page three is the first page. I can also drag and drop between preview windows. So here I've got this document that's four numbered pages and here I've got one that's three lettered pages and I can say select page B here, drag it into this document and now I start with this page. Page B has been inserted as the second page and I continue and I can see now I have a total of five pages in here. Now if I actually were to do this document wise, like drag the entire document over here, I could add it in and I could see that now I actually have two documents because I've added it after the first document. So I have both documents open in the same window. You can, however, drag pages from one window to another to merge documents. You can also merge the entire document. Notice if I drag this entire document here over here, there's two positions for the insertion bar here. One is just below the other. So one is really snug up against the title of the document and the other is below it. So if I do it here, just below it, it will basically 
put this document in the same window but they'll be separate documents. If I stick it here right under the title and I drop it in, now I actually have a single document but I've added those three pages to it. So now if I expand it in here I can see I have one, two, three, four and then there's A, B, and C. So there is a quick way to merge entire documents from one window to the next. So the ability to merge documents in preview can be very useful. For instance, say if you send out invoices and you want to combine an invoice that you generate with a standard terms and conditions document. You can generate the invoice separately, combine them together in a single document and send that out. Or say you want to combine pages from different applications like a chart you produce in numbers with a text document you produce on Microsoft Word. Simply produce those both, both as PDFs and then merge them together in preview and send a single document. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.